Hello fans, welcome back to Around the A Sun. I'm David Miller. It was a great week of conference action and we like to start this episode by sending some shout outs to the EKU and FGCU men's tennis teams as well as the UCA women's tennis team for picking up some wins. We're going to turn our attention to basketball where three of the five teams who had perfect conference records got their first blemishes. And we're going to head out to Richmond KY where the Colonels of Eastern Kentucky welcomed in the Sugar Bears of Central Arkansas. Third quarter, EKU down nine, and Alice Reconati takes it through the lane, getting the hoop and the harm as the Italian provides the kindling for the comeback. Central Arkansas back up nine, and Reconati is there with the match. Ivy Turner running the floor gives a little pump fake and lays it in for two of her 11 as she cuts it to five. Reconati from the corner collects the three piece, making it a one possession game. Sugar Bears back up a touchdown. Reconati with the skip pass to Antoinette Walker and the A-Sun preseason player of the year nets it. Bree Crittenden hits back-to-back -back buckets and ties it up to end the quarter. Final stands are tied at 47 and Walker working hard down low puts EKU up for good. She finishes with a game high 19. Up six, Reconati hits the spin move in the unorthodox jumper logging 16 points and becoming the 25th player in EKU history to score 1,000 as the Colonels hand Central Arkansas their first conference loss of the season. In other weekday women's action, Clutter logs a double-double in North Alabama's thrilling overtime victory against Bellarmine. Hooks had a career night going for 31 points and 14 rebounds as Kennesaw State downs Stetson, and Jefferson drops 24 as FGCU beats Queens. Off to Jacksonville where the Ospreys of North Florida welcomed in the Owls of Kennesaw State. UNF down three when Chaz Lanier sees Jalen Smith on the wing and he orders up a three piece to tie it at 10. Next Osprey possession and Nate Laterris takes it to the rack as North Florida never looks back. Laterris again, not so rough on the rim, he logs 12 points. Smith from the same spot as before drains it as he bookends a 14-0 run. KSU trims it to seven but Lanier is there with the up and under. UNF pushing the pace. Smith slows it down and drops it to a trailing Vander Heiden and he knocks it down. Vander Heiden again, buckets. He chips in 17 off the bench. Lanier making it rain from the top of the key for three of his game high 25 as the Ospreys cruise to an 84-75 win. Now for the other men's weekday scores. Haney chips in two dozen as Austin P claims an overtime victory over North Alabama. Jacksonville overcomes a 14 point second half deficit and hangs on for a two point win over Queens and five Bears score double figures as Central Arkansas prevails at Lipscomb. Now on to the weekend women's scoreboard. Hurd and Sorrentino combined for 30 in Lipscomb's 10 point win at Austin P. Fisher chips in 23 off the bench to lead UCA past Bellarmine. Queens scores 30 in the fourth to force overtime, but their comeback falls just short, losing by two to Stetson. Florida Gulf Coast remains the lone unbeaten in conference play, handing KSU their first ace on loss of the season. And Eastern Kentucky remains unbeaten at home with the nine point triumph over North Alabama. Here are your men's weekend scores. Kennesaw gets back in the win column with an 83-79 win at Jacksonville. Forrest led all scores and was one board short of a double-double, but that wasn't enough as Lipscomb beats North Alabama. Witt, Black, and Sharp combined for 67 of Austin P's 94 points as they win the shootout in Clarksville. EKU gets back to 500 overall and remains the only unbeaten team in conference play as they beat Bellarmine by a dozen. Anderson tallies 23 to help FGCU fly past Stetson, and it was a milestone night at UNF Arena as the Ospreys head coach Matthew Driscoll and his staff earned their 228th win, making them the winningest staff in Ace on history. It was also the program's 400th victory. So that pretty much puts a bow on what happened last week. Conference basketball continues this Wednesday. All action can be seen on ESPN+. As always, we appreciate you taking the time, and we hope to see you again for another trip around the A-Sun.